Some strange behaviour here from my Idilla Mantis Diabolica, Devil's Flower Mantis. Uh, earlier on today she was hanging around near the bottom, which is, I've never seen her do before. She's always hanging from the top of the enclosure here. Now she's kind of on the side. Now I know that I'm thinking any day now actually she should be molting. Um, it's kind of overdue. My worry is that she's maybe been too weak to hang on and fell down and now she's attempting to climb back up so my thoughts are um, I'll give her some honey see if that can boost her energy a little bit and keep an eye on her I might even just help her up to the top as you can see she seems like she's struggling to climb and she does have that wonky leg which probably doesn't help uh, but it's really important she gets in a good position for this potential upcoming molt because I want her to be a nice healthy adult so we'll try and feed her up boost her energy levels fingers crossed any day now we might see a fully grown adult devil's flower mantis so I did manage to help her up to the top and she happily clung on and then sure enough over the course of the day she did indeed start molting and I managed to get a nice time lapse of that as she leaves her exuvium behind there. So luckily I was around um, and I was able to monitor her progress because as soon as she pops out here yeah, you can see she really didn't have a very good grip on the top there at all and I was just waiting for her to drop and I didn't want to undo the enclosure because it might wobble it and cause her to fall. Uh, but I did in the end have to do that and reach in and just give her a bit of a hand to get to the top of the enclosure again so she can hang there and dry out and it always makes me really nervous because as people are probably aware they're incredibly soft at this stage and you really shouldn't be messing with them but this was kind of an extreme circumstance I had to do something because as you can see she would have just fell and I don't think she'd have made it back up However, this has actually taught me another lesson in the art of keeping these devil's flower mantids who are incredibly difficult to raise to adulthood sometimes and that's that I realised my enclosure was just way too bare. The sides having something for her to grip onto was fine. I know the front isn't the best because it's a smooth surface for viewing which isn't brilliant but we definitely needed something else to fill out the enclosure just to give her some space to actually grip onto things when she does go through that molt. So what I've done is just shoved a ton of sticks in there now which should then give her something to grasp onto when she does go through her next molt. And I was surprised because I thought she was going to be a, I thought she was going to get her wings at this stage, but clearly not. I guess she's still got another stage to go before she gets to adulthood, which is good and bad because it means we get her longer, but then she does have to go through another molt. But this was a great learning experience for me, and I think it's something that is worth sharing with other owners of this species is that they do need plenty of gripping space because when they go through that molt they're going to really struggle to grip onto something if they don't have something nearby so going forwards that is definitely something i will be doing i think that it might be a good idea at some point for me to put out a really detailed care video on these because you do see so many questions around them and whilst you can get lucky there are so many considerations to make for these guys just to ensure that they have the best chance possible but that's it, I thought I'd just do a quick update as she was obviously getting ready to molt and I thought there might be some drama, which consequently there was. I hope everyone had a great new year and I'll see you soon.